Hi and welcome to AFTV. I have Turkish with me. Fam. 1 0 loss to Tottenham. And I don't even know where to look for positives or anything inspiring me to think this is going to be our year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just people talk about obviously positivity and why you're so negative. But right now, where are the, where are the positive signs within this club right now? We're, we're falling fast. Um, what was your Listen, thoughts don't on get, this? Don't get me wrong, yeah? And there are masses of fans out there that want people to be positive. Yeah. And they think, you know, being positive will change the, you know, the Arsenal that we've seen over the last two to ten years. Mm. You know, the last two have been dreadful. The last ten years has been the downfall. Right. And the way I see it is, if I look at Arsenal Football Club as a whole, mm. yeah, the young players are a pro. That is a positive. Yeah. You know, Saka, Martinelli, Emil smith Rowe, we bought Lokonga. Yeah, he, he was good today, yeah. We've got a few good young players. With Saliba was meant to be a part of that. It is what it is. We've got mm. a few good young players. But let's say there's 10 jobs a club have to do. One of those jobs is to accommodate for good young players. We've tick. done that good. Tick, tick. 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 Yeah. But then if you've got nine crosses with the other jobs, you're doing one out of 10 right. Focusing on that one is a part of the problem. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. telling other fans to focus on that one or two positive that you somehow find out of, you know, mm. the cobwebs, then you are part of the problem. Facts. Because we need to focus on the eight, nine things this club is doing wrong every single window, every single season. Not mm. the one, two that somehow seem to work. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm so it's with all, you. we can talk about the positives. Ben White looked good today. Lokonga looked good today. Lukonga That's our two new yeah, signings. Yeah, 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 they look like good buys. But mm. if we don't fix the other holes, they will fall the same way Partey fell, the same way Pepe's yep. fallen. Yep. Yes, they can still forge a great Arsenal career for themselves, but if the overhaul isn't wholesale enough, if it isn't in abundance, mm. then the new players will be tainted by the old players. Mm. Hence, in this pre-season alone, We've seen Bellerin make a mistake the last game that, you know, gave Chelsea a goal. Yep. I yeah, know, I'm with That's you. just one example. El Nene, a few games before that, losing it in his mm -hmm. own box. Mm -hmm. The mistakes. Cost Little us mistakes. a goal. Little mistakes. But we've seen that throughout seasons. It's not mm. just pre-season we've seen that. We've seen that throughout seasons. And these two players, two of many, are two that we need to move on from. Yeah. And they, they might be the, the starters, OK? We might put Lukonga probably with, with Xhaka, potentially, when the season starts. But... Elna, you might have to be in there at times, and then Bellerin's likely to start as well. So another worry here. I want to ask you: Was Tottenham really good today, or were we really bad? We actually dominated possession. Facts. You know, the first five to ten minutes, I was a bit worried because Tottenham balls over the top were causing problems. Yeah. But as much as we dominated possession, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean three points. It doesn't mean you're going to win anything. Goals and chances do. Mm. And Tottenham by far had the best chances of the game, mm. and they scored one of them, and they won it one nil. So regardless of pre-season or not, we've seen what happened today in a season before. We've seen what happened against Chelsea in a season before. Mm. So it's all good and well saying pre-season. And yes, this is the time to get the rustiness and the mistakes yeah, out. out. But it's also the time to find form, to you know, tick, to click. But we haven't been doing that. Mm. And it's all good and well saying there's three weeks left of the window. I don't give a shit. I've never given a shit when the window ends. Mm. Why should I? I care when the season starts. Focusing on when the window ends gives the club more time to be reactive. Yeah. Be proactive and be ready for the season start. Mm. We never do that. So, yeah, tell me there's three weeks left. But there's four days left till the start of the season. Mm. And in four days, we are not improving this side. So in four days, we start another season unprepared. Yeah. So, there's no, so you think there's no hope of... The Congo is maybe making a sign and getting a sale. We'll in, sign in one his... player in the next three weeks, Cecil. We're going to sign one player. Willock was out today. Arteta's saying, you know, he's we'll let you know the yeah, reason. Yeah, he's gonna We're going to sell yeah. Willock. We might sell one more person. We might get Madison, Odegaard, or Bernardo Silva over the line. And 40%, 50%, maybe 60% of the fan base lose themselves, blindfolds back on, like Partey last year, mm -hmm. and act like we've done a good job. Yeah. But the reality is, we need three players in the next three weeks. A right back a central midfielder and an attacking midfielder. Mm. That's what we need. Without talking about a striker and a backup goalkeeper, that's what we need in this first 11 for me to have any hope that we can even challenge for top four. They're not doing that. Mm. They will do one, and I think that one will be a name that you know, fans will like and you know, fans can get a bit excited about. But one name doesn't change what's happening right mm. now. It needs to be free at I minimum. That. I hear that. Obviously, you, I know you've been saying from the beginning of... I guess even for the beginning of pre-season, you said there's no way we're getting in that top four this season. 
uh, next this season coming. You said there's no way. If more than one sign does come through the door, are you still adamant that there's no way? Even covered? if we plug them three gaps, I said, right back, yeah. centre, mid, attacking mid, mm. I still think we can challenge for top four. I wouldn't be confident because of how far this club has fallen and how far they've let it fall. Yeah. Chelsea, City, Liverpool and United, they're strong and mm -hmm. they've got stronger this summer or they're about to be stronger. Yeah, facts. So we can't feel entitled enough to say three players, we can get into that top four. They've been building what they've been building for a lot longer than us. Yeah. Even United with Ole, it's been two and a half, three years now. Yeah, regardless of what their fans have been divided about him or not, mm. they're a lot deeper into a process than we are. Mm. So why do we think three players come in and change that? It doesn't. Yeah. But it's the start required. It's the start required for me to think next season we can start getting into the top four. Mm. But if we don't do the business now, we leave ourselves with too much business next summer. Yeah, we're behind And then again. when it's too much business next summer, people are like, we can't do it all at once. But yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck me. We've had enough chances to do it bit by bit, but we're not doing it. So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to relieve that pressure and say we can't do it all at once. I'm going to say do it all at once yeah, because you yeah. haven't been doing it when you should have been doing it. Now's Jacques, the time. Richard Garlic come in, negotiations. Yep. What the yep. fuck has he done? Bendia, we lost, lost out on Tavilla. Xhaka, we tried to sell. A club actively looked to sell a player. Mm -hmm. yeah? And when you actively look to sell a player, the market dictates the value. If you're looking to sell a player, the market dictates the value. Facts. If you've got a player you want to keep and another team wants, you dictate the value. Mm. We was looking to sell Xhaka. And let's, let's not forget, so Bellerin Bell Bell as well. Bellerin yeah. said, I'm, I want to leave. He wants to move and he's still... But the thing with Xhaka, we got an offer. So we got 15 million, 12 yeah, 15 million euros. plus 3 yeah, million. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got people saying he's worth more than that. But if he's on the market at 28 years of age, after what many perceive to be a great tournament for Switzerland, yeah, that's his market value, yeah. 15 mil. Yeah. So for us to then say, nah, he's worth 20, let's give him a new contract and a pay rise. It Are you it bonkers? Doesn't doesn't make sense. Are doesn't you make bonkers? Because his club. value's only going to go down from One here. club as well. Let's not forget that. It was one club that came in as well. So it's not like there was other clubs fighting to push that fee up. And let's do, uh, look, I speak about Jack. I speak about Bellerin. We could speak about Rob Holden. The guy got his hair done. He missed the game. He's not injured. Yeah, he got his hair done. they're saying it's down to fitness, down to match. Oh, he got his hair done. That. He got his hair done. He missed the game. He shouldn't even be at the club. Right back, you start, you start Bellerin, you bring on Maitland Niles, Cedric and Chambers are there, you bought Cedric, you said Cedric's the best technically. What is going on? You gave Maitland Niles a loan in January. Mm -hmm. The game before the season starts, he comes on as the backup right back. Don't you, I, I just don't understand a lot of things going on. But let's go back to the positive. Lukonga and Ben White look like good signings. Let's leave a hand on that one. 